Hello, my name is Michael Wutti. I'm a student at the Alpenadre University in Frankfurt. And in the next few minutes, I will show you my results of the Game Story Task 2018 at Medieval, which is also part of my master thesis. I have developed a system which is able to automatically detect and extract kill streaks from the provided CSGO tournament data. The extracted kill streak videos are merged into a multi-view summary video, which is synchronized nearly frame accurate between the different views of the kill streak actor, the event stream, and the all views of the um, kill streak victims. The information about the kill streaks and the corresponding start positions and durations could be easily extracted from the game log. But as you might know, the timestamps in the game log can be for up to 40 seconds from the current position uh, in the video streams. And due to this fact, if someone would directly extract videos based on the timestamps in the game log, in the worst case, the target video could be missed totally and the extracted video sequence um, could be completely wrong. Now let me explain my approach for extracting kill streaks by a concrete example. I want to find out the correct position of an event where K kills have before a kill streak has started. And I know that this event um, happened at round 12. And the timestamp of this event for the game log is uppercase D, which can differ up to 40 second, seconds from the um, current position in the video stream. And now the goal is to find out the correct position T prime, which is somewhere in between the search window. And now you can have the situation where K kills are performed both in round 11 and round 12, which are part of the search window. And therefore I first identified the target round in which the kill streak has been performed. And from the beginning of the correct round, I have searched for the event where K kills um, has been performed. The time step for the beginning of this event is T prime. Um, the correct position of the kill streak begin in the video stream. For the round detection, I've used a support vector machine to classify two regions of interests, which are marked in green, where the game score is shown. The support vector machine was trained with 400 samples from each um, number from 0 to 21, which were extracted beforehand from the training data. The beginning of a round could be detected if the target score matches the score which is shown in the video stream. For the kill detection, I've used the uh, skull indications on the left and the right side of the video. I've extracted 10 regions of interest where a skull could possibly appear and compared it with a reference, a reference image of the skull. The comparison is implemented with a pattern matching approach using the L1 norm and with this technique I was able to count the kills from the video content and to find the beginning of a kill streak. Addition, uh, additionally, I have applied a cutting offset between 5 and 20 seconds to achieve a better um, viewing experience and to gain a better control of the final video length. I've written a software in Python using a couple of image and video processing libraries like OpenCV, Pillow, and FFmpeg. And the machine learning framework I've used for the support vector machine is scikit-learn. Now I want to show you a short sequence of my submission with the multi-view perspective of a quad kill. I won't have another smoke to work with. Obviously I wow. say that, but somehow he gets Kerrigan through it. That's great from Lacro. Remember, this is the buy where Faze is struggling. Almost no utility. And Lecro's picking them limb from limb. My goodness. Lecro! That is beautiful Counter-Strike. Showing how much skill this young man has. The last thing I want to say is that this system covers a subset of events which can be used for an exciting and captivating game story. Many ideas like the integration of overtime events, the analysis of the audio stream and the purchases of the players could not be realized in the time that was available to me. Nevertheless, this software is able to automatically extract kill streak sequences for every match which was played at the tournament. 
That's it from my side. Thank you for your attention and I wish you a nice remaining day at the workshop.